Okay then, so tonight I'm at the Days in Memory Services on the M4, heading towards London. And this is what you get for £61.99 tonight, so let's go and have a look. It's a non-refurbished hotel, this. Draining when we checked in. Okay then, so in room 9, I've just been in and put my bag in. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is what we get. So, not a bad room really. Uh, this actually had a new carpet, which I'm surprised about because they haven't done a refurb here yet. So, straight away we've got a nice big king size bed. The really good beds these. They used to be Premier Inns or Travel Lodges, I'm not really sure, but they're always decent. So, mattresses are really good. Um, we've actually got two desks in here, so, really nice big corner desk there. There's a lamp, fan, decent chair. Now, these chairs are new. So they, uh, they have these and all the new days in. Uh, so this days in is run by Welcome Break. Some in the UK are run by Welcome Break and some are run by Road Chef. So yeah, this is what we get. So bag stand there, slash desk area again. You even got a fridge. Now, if you join the club like I do, you get a free bottle of water and a free bar of chocolate. So tonight we've got Snickers. Not a lot, but better than nothing. Uh, nice little extra. So, I like these hotels, you get free Wi-Fi and free parking for a car. So, not bad really. Um, if you come into a motorway services, normally you have to pay ridiculous amounts for parking. Uh, it can only be as much as like 35 quid a night sometimes. So to get that free, bonus. Um, yeah, let's have a look at what else we've got. So, what have we got of a view? Not a bad view really, is it? There's no motorway, so that's good. So not going to be any cars flying by. Round the room, just looking like there is a bit of paint cracking here. And, but really, I'm not going to be bothered about that. You're only here for one night, and you're certainly not going to be staying here if you're on holiday. I'm looking at this radiator. I think it's rusty. So there's a few marks on it. This is 61 quid last minute. Is it that bad? Well... I don't think it is really. Um, don't get me wrong, I've had a lot better for that price, but I, I don't think it's too bad. Modern TV. Happy day. So free Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi that you get, it's actually pretty good. It's not like the Premier Inn one where it's three megabits and you can't use it. The Wi-Fi's good in here. But they don't try and con you, charge you extra. So the kettle clean tonight. Well, it looks all right. It's a bit dirty on the outside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's cleaning that one. Happy days. What do they give us? They've got PG tips, Nescafe, and a few others. Just look at that plug socket, though. It doesn't look too safe, does it? It's all coming off all the way around it. That's definitely been changed recently because the USB one. We've got cups facing the wrong way around. So we'll just do that for them. Happy days. But yeah, there's, there's an issue with the paint cracking all the way along. Are you gonna be bothered about that really? We've got a light out, so yeah, there's no no extra light there. Oh well. It is what it is, as I say. Right, usual ladder style, a couple of unsealable hangers, pillars in the bag so they're not covered in dust. Is it clean on top? Hmm, so if there's a bit of dust there, not too bad I suppose. Got a couple of extra towels, which is good. Right, let's throw in what we got. Standard cheapo style arrangement. It's clean. Yeah, happy days. Decent toilet roll. Soap's absolutely awful stuff, but better than nothing, I suppose. Is there any pressure tonight? Let's have a look. Wow, yeah, boom. Oh, it's got one of them like fine shower heads on it. But yeah, that's alright, like that. Blood of bullets red off. Happy days. That's obviously been recently changed. Yeah, I'm quite happy here. Um, pretty simple hotel. It's dated. But what do you need on the services? Okay, so let's go and have a look around. I'm sure you want to mean with the services. Go into reception now, so just around this corner. They do actually sell alcohol here. So you can buy booze. Give 
they've actually got microwaves that you can warm your own food up. That's good to see. And this is it here. So normally when you check in, they just give you a key and say you're on ground floor or first floor, find your own room. Well today, the receptionist is actually a really nice guy. He's explained everything, uh, even like your local roads that you can take. Um, what time everything is open till everywhere. You can go to the other side of the bridge and you can actually get uh, better food or Chinese or whatever. So yeah, normally you don't get that. So it's nice to see people are actually taking the effort and, uh, and telling you things properly. Right then, so on this side of the um, service, it looks really fresh. It looks like they've done a bit of a refurb. On the side where the lorries are, it's just disgusting. <laughs> It's the whole place looks like it's falling down. Yeah, I'll show you that now. So this is the, the normal side of your car. So the Starbucks over there, they've got some EV charging points. All your Coach Bay's, Tesla superchargers. They're obviously building something here. And then it looks really nice, doesn't it? You know, modern. Well, wait till you see the other side. So let's go in. You've got Waitrose, KFC, Burger King, Starbucks. WH Smith as well I believe but welcome break really do like to whip, rip you off everything's ridiculous in here you are paying five six quid for a uh, sandwich and then all your food's on the first floor. So they've got a good breakfast company in the morning. They do a deal at the hotel for $7.95. You get a full meal dish, a couple of toast, and a brew for $7.95. Sounds really good. It's the worst breakfast I've ever had. And this is where you get it. Well, this actually used to be Harry Ramsden's. Yeah, they don't use that anymore. It's just a breakfast company. So yeah, it is what it is. So all you've got to options for eat is Waitrose or KFC and Burger King. That is it. So I just thought I'd film this. So they don't do any meal deals at Welcome Break. So 4.75 for a sandwich. So without buying a drink. So you look at your drinks. It's three quid for a bottle of water. Jesus Christ. So you're spending a tenner before you even know about it. So what else have we got? Well, we've got Starbucks, which is ridiculous prices. Uh, would it be a more competitive book price? Well, this is the entrance of the lorry drivers, and we met with wet floor size and dripping roof. Nice. Okay, so what are the differences on this side? All the, the pathways are knackered. There's big holes everywhere, all over the tarmac. And then they charge you 34 quid to park here for the night. Ridiculous 34 quid for nothing. And look at the actual state of it. How old this building is. So it looks nice for your general public. Really nice building, you know, well kept. And then they got this around the edge. Look at the state of it. You walk into a wet floor sign, you get ripped off with the food inside. This is why I really don't like welcome breaks. They just try and screw everyone. What makes me laugh about services in the UK is there really is nothing for the, uh, the drivers or the food really is just cheap nasty takeaway stuff which you don't want. Uh, if you go abroad you get a nice meal uh, and it won't be an inflated price but it just seems in the UK they try and um, have you over with everything. So we've got like the most expensive shops in here, Waitrose, uh, we can't get any deals at all and everything's expensive so you're forced, you're forced to eat fast food and uh, expensive food as well, so, yeah. Okay, so next day now, um, not a bad sleep actually, pretty decent bed. Um, mattress wasn't as comfy as it normally is, but it was still doable, so happy days. Last night I put some water in that fridge, so it's got a big blue light inside. Yeah, so you think it's cold, but really it's just a blue light, doesn't really do anything. Um, 
shower. Well, I've literally just had the best shower I've had in ages. Loads of pressure, really good, but the shower curtain's all knackered, it's all ripped. So that needs to be addressed. Right then, uh, nothing else to report really. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. It'll really help me out. Till the next one, guys.